Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah Korn, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a random merch haul. So normally I pick up most of my stuff online. Um, I don't shop very much for anime related merch and stuff in store because I find it's just really hard to get where I live. Um, that said, recently I got lucky at a few places and as you can probably see from the thumbnail, I have a bit of a large haul. Um, picked up a few things from GameStop, from Indigo, from Sunrise Records randomly. Um, with that said, um, today's video is going to be a bit weird, obviously, but it's just kind of a little bit of a haul of the things that I picked up recently in person. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, let's get on into the video. So first up guys, might as well go over some of the manga that I was able to pick up recently. Um, I've been collecting a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen and Toilet Bound Hanako recently, and I got a couple volumes of Jujutsu Kaisen, both volumes 4 and volumes 10. I've been looking for volume 4 for forever, like I have, aside from 10 here and 4, I had all the way up to volume 14. But for whatever reason, these ones were kind of eluding me. Um, mainly this volume 4. So this is the cover of volume 4. It is, of course, a classic, iconic photo of Gojo here. Of course, uh, the E-Stream Gojo figure is based off of this pose, which I do have pre-ordered. This is obviously a very popular volume because of the cover, and it's just been so hard to get for so long. So I'm glad I was finally able to pick it up. Next up, of course, is the volume 10. Not one that I really necessarily was interested in, but at the same time, I, I have all the other ones through 14. So I want to get like all the volumes in the collection. And this one was missing. I haven't seen it all that much, um, obviously, because I haven't gotten it thus far. But the couple times I did see it, I was just interested in other of volumes at the time, so that's why I've waited so long to get this one. Then, of course, we have this one volume of Toilet Bound Hanako Kun, which is volume 13. Um, here we have Nene and Aoi looking super cute on the cover. Toilet Bound Hanako Kun has some of the best artwork ever, uh, I say. All of the covers are super bright and colorful, and their art style is just so unique. Um, they have two art books out for Toilet Bound Hanukkah, and I plan on picking them both up at some point. Here is the beautiful cover for this one. Again, their artwork is just absolutely stunning. So next up, I'm going to be going over the few items that I picked up from GameStop. I managed to get two figures. I got this Cardcaptor Sakura Cupos kit in the B colorway. Um, my friend actually saw this on the shelf and I just saw her staring at the shelf and I was like, what, what are you staring at? And then I look up and I saw this and I, I absolutely had to have it. Um, she, she knew that as soon as she saw it, she's like, I kind of figured you're going to buy it. I mean, it is adorable. The price of this was $26.99 Canadian dollars with my edge card. So not terrible because again, they're around like 16 Canadian on buy, but then you'd have to pay like $20 to ship it. So it, it ends up being the same anyways. So decent deal on that. Of course, I'll do close-ups of the box and the figure um, later. Next up, I picked up a Pokemon Pop figure, which as you can see here, I got a Sylveon. Super cute. Um, yeah, as soon as I saw this at shop too, I, I I grabbed it, I knew I had to have it. Super cute. I don't really collect pop figures, obviously, as an actual like anime figure collector. I don't do pops that often, but for like animals like Pusheen and stuff and Pokemon, I think that they're super cute still. So I definitely go for the pop figures for those. And then certain anime ones and video games are still interesting. Um, no offense to people who collect pops, but I find for the most part, I would prefer to get an android of characters over pop figures. Um, again, we'll do close-ups of this later on. All right, then the last item from GameStop. Um, I literally saw it on like the rack 
sitting kind of poked outside the store um, down the hallway at the mall I was at and I literally like literally ran full speed down the hallway to get this item um, I saw this just recently on TikTok that people uh, within Canada were seeing these at their GameStop and so I was looking at all the GameStops just in case and this one carried this adorable like freaking adorable Karomi and My Melody Loungefly backpack. Um, I saw this online quite a while ago, but I, I obviously didn't want to ship it from the UK. Shipping from the US is expensive, and this is already a pretty expensive bag. Um, so when I saw it at GameStop, again, I, I like ran for it. I ran for it, and I'm so glad I did. It is perfect. I already have the Karomi Loungefly bag, which I'll show you in a sec here, which is just this one here. I got this uh, I don't know if it was last year or the year before on the Sanrio US website. Love her. Um, but this one is perfect too. Again, um, I wear lots of black and pink. So this one's absolutely perfect for that. I love my melody too. And the fact that you get Chromie and my melody in one, like the iconic duo. Perfect. So with my edge card, I actually got this for $76.49 Canadian instead of the $84.99 um, that you would get without the platinum edge card. So I actually saved like a decent amount of money on this. Um, and I, I just love lounge fly legs, especially these Henria ones. So I'm literally so happy to have this. Blessed. I was blessed this day. I found so many good things. And am I broke? Yes. But am I happy? Yes. I was genuinely shocked at how much good stuff I was able to find at GameStop. Um, I guess since they changed over from EB Games to GameStop, they have been carrying way more merch and I'm so happy for it because like this haul is just so good. My favorite thing that I got from that little trip was this lounge fly bag. Just, I, I never thought I'd be able to get one locally. So like that's literally like a dream come true. I'm literally so blessed to have this. Okay, then next up, we're going to be going over what I got from Sunrise Records. So first up, we're going to be going over a couple things that are gifts for a friend. The first thing being this Froppy figure from My Hero Academia. She absolutely loves Froppy. Last year, we went to a con together and she cosplayed as Froppy. So obviously, this is the perfect gift for her. Then secondly, which she's been talking about this a ton, um, so I knew I had to get it for her since I saw it locally, is the Hello Kitty and Friends Monopoly. It is absolutely adorable. As you can see on the back here, you actually get to play as the Sanrio characters, which is super nice, because I also saw a Sailor Moon one. And you could not play as Sailor Moon characters, it was just her brooches and stuff, so that was a bit disappointing. But again, happy to see that for the Sanrio one, play as the cute characters. So I know she's going to be so happy when she gets this. Okay, then next up, uh, this was just like a random purchase. I saw this in the corner of the store. They had a bunch of like mini poster books, and this one has a bunch of Vocaloid ones on the back here. Again, I'll show you some close-ups. But there's one of this kimono miku that looks absolutely stunning again i'll insert some close-ups here um but it's absolutely beautiful um same with the luca that is one of my favorites and then the miku at the bottom here very cute posters you got 12 of them in here and then lastly guys like i saw this on the top of like the display where they have the pop figures and stuff uh, and like I literally ran over and I was like so overwhelmed with everything they had um, but this was the first thing I saw and I like I snatched it up there was like one on the wall there and I was like mine it was this giant Ryuk figure which I'm pretty sure they sold this one on Hot Topic for a while but as a Canadian customer who doesn't have any top topics like anywhere around me um, and I can't like make that drive all the time and shipping from Hot Topic is like literally ridiculously expensive to Canada. Even though we have stores in Canada, I don't know why, but it's, it's ridiculous. So for figures and stuff, like I, I can't, I can't buy anything on there. I can barely afford the clothes sometimes. So when I saw this, 
just sitting on the shelf at Sunrise Records, I was like, haha, mine. I'm so happy to finally have this one. This is the giant one. You've probably seen it around of Ryuk sitting here with his massive wings, sitting on a skull. Very excited to unbox this. All right, guys, so just opening up the Sakura Kipos kit here. As per usual, on the top, there is what looks to be nothing. And then all I have to do here is cut the sides of the cardboard insert right here. And then unfold, and then in the bottom compartment is where we have all of these pieces for Sakura. Alright guys, so what I'm going to be doing here is just flipping this around here. And I'm going to cut all along the way, opening all of these little compartments. First, pulling out the standard q kit base which of course has the Kuposket branding on it, as well as all of these little details around the edge. 
Then we're going to pull out her staff here. Here's the bottom part of the staff. Then, of course, the top. Then we have her body, which I love this outfit of Sakura's. And um, some Piku Poskets, um, as I mentioned before, turn out better than others. And I think that this Sakura is super cute, as well as the Sailor Moon ones I have. They work very well, but um, with some other characters, I find it doesn't work so well. Her face sculpt is so cute. Her hair is done so well. Oh, it's adorable. I love the beret with the big bow on the back. So cute. All right, guys, so just snipping around the edges. Carefully pulling out Sylvie on here. So as you can see in there, the back of the box actually has a nice print which is really nice. I feel like pop figure boxes are normally pretty plain. So that's a nice touch. And then, just pulling that off. As well at the bottom there. And sliding Sylveon out. Honestly guys, um, as I mentioned earlier, I don't collect many pop figures, but for like animals and like Pokemon and stuff, I find that they do a really good job, and they look super cute. Alright guys, so we're going to get on into unboxing this rig here. First off, I'm cutting the tape at the 
top of the box. As per usual. Alright, so first thing I'm seeing off the top here is this little booklet, I'm assuming with a bunch of the figures that they have in this line. That is what it's looking like. Lots of super nice figures, but the L and the Ryuk are my favorite. If they made a Misa Misa, I'd probably die. Um, but these two are very nice. Alright. Just pulling out the poster pack here. As you can see in the back there, this beautiful design in the back of the box. It's not just plain. Super pretty. Then here we have Ryuk, who is just bound with twist ties. So I'm going to untie those in the back and then pull them out here. Alright guys, now that I have him out, some first impressions are that I think he looks really good. Um, obviously his wings look so stunning, super detailed. His outfit looks fantastic as well. The back here just looks super nice. Um, this back skull piece is uh, decent. It's not the best quality, but at the same time, I'm not going to be displaying him from the back hardly ever. I feel like it'll be from the front. So, no problem there. Again, like, this is just such a massive figure with the wings. Uh, he looks great. Let me know what you guys think down below. Alright guys, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot to me. Let me know what you guys thought of today's haul down below. Um, obviously I got quite a big assortment of things, so it's probably not all um, your vibe, but I thought I'd share what I got anyways, since I did get quite a big, vast, you know, local haul. I'm very happy with everything I got. Obviously some things I am like over the moon happy about. With that said, if you guys want to see more of me, feel free to check out my Instagram and my TikTok linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.